Hey guys, it's Awana Turtle, and today we are continuing our first box of Ravnica Allegiance. We are going to do the second half, so we got another 18 packs. And yeah, we're hoping for some big hits. If you haven't checked out the first video, I definitely recommend doing so. And yep, we're going right into it. A lot of packs to open, and we just want to want to see the new cards. All right, let's see. We got a. Put this down here. Actually, you know, I'll put these over here because it kind of gets in the way. Trollbred Guardian. Ballistic Bell Hunt. Cult Guild Mage. Ooh, Ravager Worm. All right, so we got a Mythic. First pack. Whoa! All right, a Foil Mythic. Scarigan Hellkite. And I think that's one of the better ones. Very nice. Yeah, it looks like Skerrigan is like a close to a $10 card with, before being a foil. So that one should be, that's quite a hit. Definitely very strong. Very strong first pack. Ooh, light up stage, nice. Clan Guild Mage, and then Bedevil. All right, this is a very good start. Definitely a foil mythic is always good, and then you kind of just like hope that it's like a, at least a relevant one. And I definitely think we we managed to do that, which is awesome. All right, Verity Cycle. Actually, not familiar with that one. Actually, let's uh let's check some of these things. All right, four, the big worm. All right, so we got Riot. This turns the battlefield with your choice of plus one, plus one counter or haste. When it enters the battlefield, choose up to one. Roger enters the target you don't control. Fight the target you don't control. Destroy target land. That isn't a mana ability. And then for the foil held kite, Riot again. Flying. So this is for five. We have a four, four. And for four mana, deals two damage. Divide it as you choose among two targets. You can only activate this if it has a plus one, plus one counter on it. Not bad, not bad. So that card has a, you know, quite a bit of utility to it. Can be kind of like a ping, something to ping things down. Or it can just be a 4-4 haste. Alright, Windstorm Drake. Code of Constraint. Dorwin... Dovins, Acuity, oh, Spawn of Mayhem, oh man, our Mythics are just very strong. Spawn of Mayhem, so for four. Four, four, Spectacle, for two black and one mana. You may cast this spell for the Spectacle cost, if your opponent took damage. Okay, so you can get it at a discount. Flying Trample, at the beginning of upkeep, Spawn of Mayhem deals one damage to each player. Then in then if you have 10 life or less, put one counter on Spawn of Mayhem. Put over there. All right, we're getting quite a bit of foils, all right. Foil common. Not sure where to put all the cards. Oh, I see another foil. All right, Vindictive Vampire. Flames of the Raised Boar. Finks of the Guild Pack. And then Mass Manipulation. A pretty cool card, but for a ridiculous cost. Although, it, it is crazy strong. And then a Titanic Brawl. And whenever I... In between packs, I just keep looking at the Scarigan Hellkite. Such a good pull. Very curious how much that is for foil. Structor Crab, Dagger Caster, Orzhov Enforcer, and then our third mythic of this box. Oh, fourth mythic, including the foil. All right, we got Mesmerizing Benthid. So it is a octopus. 
All right, when this enters the battlefield, create two zero two blue illusion creatures. Whenever it blocks, that creature doesn't untap during its opponent's next turn. Has hexproof as long as you control illusion, and it's four five. That does not sound that good. Yeah, to be honest, nothing about that is impressive. Other than it has a lot of a lot of words of disappointment. Alright, Gate Colossus. Clear the stage. I hope that card's actually not. <laughs> turns out that card's amazing. So we do have another Terramander, which is nice. And then Hero of Precinct 1. So for 2, 2-2 two, two for 2. Whenever you cast a multicolored, create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. That actually doesn't sound too bad. If you have all multicolored spells. Although they're only like 1-1s. One, to compare it to like pyromancer or something all right so i'll foil pontiff pitiless pontiff azoria sky guard resolute watchdog and then deputy detention yes actually this was one of the cards i was pretty excited about it's kind of like the the fiend hunter but it can do more oh man a lot of foils spike wheel acrobat let's see foils over here and we do have the Deputy of Detention. Art's pretty cool too. All right, <laughs> Galloping Lizrog. Wilderness Reclamation. Cry of the Carnarium, and then our next dual land, or the um, rare land, so we got the green blue breeding pool, looks like that is one of the uh, better ones. Alright, Gate Colossus. Rhythm of the Wild, nice. Resolute Watchdog, and then Tessa Karlov. Okay, if a creature dying causes the ability of a permanent you control to trigger that ability, trigger additional time. Uh, creature tokens you control have vigilance and lifelink. Okay. Watch that opening of that pack. Okay, Depose, Deploy, Vindictive Vampire, Forbidding Spirits, Rampage of the Clans. Alright, for four, destroy all artifacts and enchantments. For each permit destroy this way, its controller creates a 3-3 three, three centaur. Interesting, so it's like a some like mass beast within but for artifacts and enchantments. I wonder if that could have some interesting uses. And, and it's at instant speed too. So if you just um, kind of like have some what feels like you know non-threatening artifacts or enchantments, and then boom, a bunch of three threes attacking next turn. Feels like it's one of those strategies that sounds pretty cool, but then whether how viable it is, completely different story. Ooh, absorb, nice. Wonder, I wonder if Absorb could come to something. Counter target spell, gain three life. It's like cancel. Um, but since you have a white, you get some life too. Okay, we got the Screaming Shield. Windstorm Drake, Forbidding Spirit, and then the Mad Eye Reveler. Pretty cool. All 
Okay, Gatewatch Sneak. Zerta Goblin. Sky Tether. Ooh, yes. I'm not sure if this card, like, is how it's doing, but I do really like the idea of this card. So, for four, you got a 4 4 flyer, and basically at the beginning of upkeep, you scry one. You reveal this card at the beginning and from your opening hand if you do scry three, uh, which is, I guess, that's actually pretty cool, but you know, I, I feel like the it's the passive effect that I, I like the idea of much more. And for, for four, 4 4 flyer, I feel like that's not like overly expensive. Geyer Engineer. Tower Defense, Collision and Colossus, then End Raise Forerunners. Alright, Gruel Beastmaster, Essence Capture, Com Combine Guild Mage. Oh, yes, Biogenic Ooze. Very cool. Uh, all right, so for five, we got a two-two. When Biogenic Ooze enters the battlefield, create another two-two creature token at the beginning of your end step. Put plus one plus one counter on each ooze you control, and you can create more oozes for four. I feel like I, I always had a soft spot for ooze. Um, some of the cards, I, I just love the idea of creating lots of tokens, and I feel like that's basically what ooze tries to do always. So very nice pull. And that one actually, you know, it's you know constantly makes them stronger too. So you imagine if you get like more than one of those on the battlefield, things can just get out of hand very quickly. All right, so we got the Benthic Biomancer. Ooh, this was a very strong half box. I have to say, very happy with the results. However, we are at our last pack for the booster box. So we got the Rectos Firewheeler. This is, I think that's the first one we got that. Eyes Everywhere, Wall of Lost Thought, and then the Smothering Tithe. Very strange art. Whenever an opponent draws a card, that player may pay two. If the player doesn't, create a colorless treasure token where you can sacrifice it for one mana. Okay, so very strong opening. Um, let's just go through some of our bigger hits. I don't think we got any. Did we get any? I think we got one duel in. All right, so Sphinx of Foresight, just a card that I'm a big fan of. Uh, at the beginning of your turn, scry one. Very cool. Absorb. Nice. So all we do is get one Shockland in Breeding Pool. Very nice. We got a Bedevil which destroys artifact creature or planeswalker very versatile so far mythics so this is remember this is just half a box we got the biogenic ooze mesmerizing benthid which sounds terrible spawn of mayhem very nice ravager worm just okay and then our biggest hit by far is the scarigan hellkite foil mythic very nice so like of so we got four mythics in this half and three of them were very strong and one of them was foil so a very i'm very happy with the results of this box um so but thanks for watching guys if you did enjoy the video or thought this was a very good box i would appreciate if you drop a like and we're going to continue to open ravnica allegiance for quite a bit so if you're enjoying this content or want to see more definitely subscribe to the channel and yeah and we'll see you guys next time later bye